Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clone in Final Cut Pro. Really, really easy. Alright, so that effect was achieved using Final Cut Pro, um, and it is pretty easy to achieve, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Alright, so first up, I'm just going to make a new composition, new project here. So you guys can see it. So I have the clip. You guys can see that in this clip, uh, I only have one clip, and I just individually got up and uh, filmed each shot uh, shot separately. Um, and I just placed a, the tripod, the camera on the tripod, and then I didn't uh, touch it. So uh, I like to just uh, put the whole uh, image into the timeline before I start editing. All right, so once we do, let me just make it brighter, when we have our uh, footage in the timeline, I'm just going to cut out the excess parts of it that I don't need, uh, like the beginning. Um, and let's just click on that. I'm just going to delete this whole air section. And then I'm just going to play this so you guys can see. Yeah, uh, I get in, I sit down. Um, and then from here, um, I'm just going to just leave it here for a second. And then I'm going to come here and uh, go ahead and uh, take the second part over here. So it starts at about here. So I'm just going to press the B button and then just get till uh, about there. And then uh, actually a little bit more. So then I'm just going to take this here and I'm going to drag it on top of the first shot uh, about there and then look how simple it is all I really have to do over here is just take this clip and then go over here to the trim tool um, it is one sorry to the crop tool it's one of these things over here so make sure it is on crop then when you have your timeline thing on that clip I just got a notification once you have your timeline thing on your clip what you'll want to do is click on it and of course move your timeline on that and then you just you can drag around using the corners um, you can kinda drag around um, and uh, and move your clip uh, and stop it um, where you want your uh, clone to come in and of course um, you can just leave it like that um, and it's very important to uh, you know kind of beforehand plan where you're going to sit and uh, kind of just, you know, think it all out in your head before you um, do it. Now we're just going to go ahead and add in the third uh, clone coming in. So that starts at about here. So I'm just going to press the B tool, the blade tool, and then I'm just going to take this footage and I'm going to drag it all the way onto the top about here we don't want them to come in together do we? I don't know uh, alright so then once that's in again take the crop tool and go ahead and put our uh, trim thing on top and go ahead and crop it out um, to exactly uh, where you want it maybe you want to go a little bit further and um, you can go ahead and play back your footage and uh, you guys can see that uh, you know it does it does have a little bit of uh, light differences um, as you can see right there but that is not a problem what you do is you take the middle clip or whatever clip um, has is wrong and then you open up the inspector and then from the video uh, panel, you're just going to want to click on this little arrow and you will get these uh, effects tabs here, over here. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and click on exposure. Let me just put this right here. And then I'm just going to um, go ahead and make it a little bit darker. Uh, whoops, I hit the wrong clip over here. So I just like to make it a little bit darker. Uh, to kind of match in, and of course you can do these. You can do that with each individual clip. So now you can see I made the whole video darker. So uh, we could just press the B button, 
and um, kind of mark our uh, the specific part that we'd like to change the exposure. Um, so like right here, and um, you guys can see um, that it's you know if I had a little bit more time um, to do this, then I would go ahead and do a better job. Um, and again, you can do the exposure for each individual clip um, like I showed you uh, and then get to a pretty cool finished clip um, in your final pr production. So that is how to clone in Final Cut Pro. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial um, and uh, again thanks for watching and um, have a great day.